Hello everyone, my name is Simon. I'm a developer at Premium Plus, here to talk today about ChatGPT, basically. So it's, unless you've been living under a rock for these last couple of months, uh, you've heard of the term ChatGPT already, I think. But in short, it's a, a tool um, provided by OpenAI that allows for intelligent conversation uh, with uh, AI, basically. So it knows how to understand what the, the meaning is of text and it knows how to respond intelligently to it. So we think OpenAI and ChatGPT and AI in general will be big, uh, especially for next year and years coming. It's going to automate things in many ways, in many fields, but then obviously also customer service and uh, Zendesk. So I want to talk today about a couple of ways in which ChatGPT could already mean something today. So it's still early days, of course, but just to give you an idea of what it can do, I uh, wanted to just discuss a couple of scenarios, basically. So I've prepared a couple of uh, example tickets that could come into your Zendesk right now. It's uh, paraphrases of things that have come into our inbox, basically. So this first one is a pretty lengthy ticket, pretty long description, uh, pretty wordy. So it's not ideal to, to understand what's going on in the first glance. So one of the things that ChatGPT can do, and let me just submit that quickly. One of the things that ChatGPT can do is to summarize text in an intelligent way. So we give it this ticket and uh, we ask ChatGPT basically to summarize it and to add it as a internal comment to the ticket. So let me just fire it up. It can take a couple of seconds, of course. Um, ChatGPT is quite popular. So um, it's very sought these days. So performance may lag a bit sometimes, but here you go. It has summarized the tickets into this single paragraph. So could come in handy for your use case. I know it does for Premium Plus because we have, we offer support in many languages and uh, not all our employees speak all the languages that we offer. So basically we ask ChatGPT to parse every com incoming ticket and to summarize it in English so it can understand for example, a ticket coming in in Dutch, and it can summarize that Dutch into English so that our English speaking agents can uh, know what's going on, basically. So this is one example. The next example that I've prepared is a simpler ticket, a short ticket that uh, asks for a very specific thing. So a lot of our customers have uh, a category field, for example, this one where they try to put every ticket in a specific category for reporting purposes, but also just to define the flow or to perhaps assign tickets to specific groups. It's used for a lot of things. So in this example, I've created a category just for uh, items, for categories, and we ask ChatGPT to interpret what the client asks here and uh, to, sum or to, to categorize it in one of the four, so that it the one that it thinks is most applicable. So I'm asking it right now, what is the best category for this message? Obviously it's about a full migration from Intercom to Zendesk, so it's a smart client. And ChatGPT has determined that obviously migrations is the best fit for this one. So it's uh, chosen, chosen correctly out of these four uh, this is just four, obviously, but it's, it's pretty intelligent and can handle a whole number of scenarios. So it takes a lot of uh, work away from your agents where they have to manually go through the list and, and categorize the tickets manually. So obviously the, the agent can still override the suggestion and do it manually in another way. But yeah, it's ChatGPT is pretty intelligent for picking out of a predefined set of items. And for the third example, 
uh, I'm posting today is um, sentiment analysis. It does so pretty well. So if we start a fictitious ticket of a customer that's not happy, so obviously it's, it's fictitious, so we don't have unhappy customers, obviously. Um, we can ask it to say or to, to determine the sentiment of the client. So I'm going to run it and it's going to parse the, the message and it's going to say, okay, is this a negative or a positive uh, message from the client? Um, and it's going to just add sentiments, maximum of three that it thinks are applicable to this ticket. So for this one, obviously we made it a bit angry at the end and ChatGPT has picked up on that correctly by saying uh, it's a negative comment. So this would be, it has updated the ticket in the, in the backend to add the tag to the ticket. And we've set up a trigger also in the backend that says whenever a ticket is updated with a negative sentiment, we change the priority to high, which could come in handy for a lot of customers, we think. So yeah, these are three examples that were that are already uh, possible today. Of course, for the future, it could be expanded even further. And uh, we're working on an app where uh, ChatGPT kind of suggests possible answers for the agent to give to the client. So you could automate this entirely and have ChatGPT talk to the client directly, but that's still early days, I think, and uh, needs more testing for sure. Um, it depends on your specific field and your specific audience, of course. But um, what is possible already today is to have a sidebar app, for example, where ChatGPT provides, for example, three possible questions and the agent that's handling the ticket could then select the most applicable one. And uh, this could save a lot of time um, for your agents, for sure, because it just it's not a fixed text that it asks the client. It's actually, it shows understanding of what the client is asking and uh, what he's talking about. It acknowledges this and based on that, it provides a good answer. And also when the client comes back a second time and ChatGPT has to uh, provide some possible answers, it also uses that second reply and the third and et cetera. So it, it follows the conversation and understands pretty well, we think, what is going on. So it's it's not a simple macro, it's it's really intelligent stuff. This so yeah, the future is just going to be uh, pretty amazing, we think, for, for 2023. A lot of things will be automated and a lot of things will be augmented with AI for sure. So it's going to be a big year. And uh, yeah, we want our clients obviously to be on board and, and to be ready for the future basically. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for me today. Um, until next time.